Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've uploaded this and yeah, I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to make another plan with me. It's because I've been working like crazy at my new job and I took on extra hours. But I'm back to my usual hours of just a Monday and a Friday, normal hours, so I'm back filming. And it feels weird, but it feels really good. So this week is my birthday week. My birthday is on Saturday, the 8th of December. And the kit that I'm using is a free printable and I wanted to use a birthday kit rather than a Christmas kit. And then the rest of December is all gonna be Christmas kits because I love Christmas. The kit is from Pink Pixel Graphics. I've used her free printables so many times before. I will leave her link down in the description box. She has, well, in my opinion anyway, one of the best free printable websites situations that you can go to highly highly recommend them I always love everyone that she comes out with I think I could probably just plan just using her website through the entire year because I just love everything that she does you just hop over to her website you sign up for her newsletter and you just get a newsletter come in I think it's like once a month and you also have like a little password and that way you can download any of the kits they come in Erin Condren vertical horizontal happy planner classic and happy planner big size I think. So I went with this kit because obviously it's a birthday kit and I just really love the colours. I've also pulled in some of the mini highlighter, the pastel highlighters. I don't think I've ever done this before where I've pulled in kind of coloured pens. I may be wrong. We're getting to the end of the year and I can't remember what I'd done beforehand but I decided to pull them in just to add a little bit of difference to the kit as well. So we're going to go in day by day. So Monday I did have to work all day so I filmed this on Wednesday so Monday and Tuesday and half of Wednesday is kind of um what's it called not pre-planning the other one it will come to me give me a second rewind plan that's what it's called <laughs> I'm going to be rewind planning for Monday and Tuesday and half of Wednesday so uh yeah for Monday I needed to work all day my son came down with a virus over the weekend so he was poorly on the Monday and then I had to do the food shop when I got home from work online and do some laundry and then for Tuesday Harrison was still poorly and I had caught it as well I actually come down with it on Monday but I was at work I had to go to work so um yeah I was not very well for um, most of this week. I am starting to feel a little bit better today though. And then um, my food delivery came, the food shop that I'd done online the Monday, it was delivered on Tuesday. And then for my get it done section, my daughter wanted to kind of have like um, a personal size planner. So we created her one, we designed some inserts and some dashboards and some stickers. So I wanted to get all of that done on Tuesday for her. She also had her assessment over at her workplace on Tuesday and she was so nervous so that poppet is perfect for what her facial expression was. Um, so then at the bottom there I just put down that she passed the assessment. I don't know what she was worried about because she's amazing at what she does and she actually passed with a distinction. So if you didn't know you can get a fail, a pass, a merit and then a distinction is the top mark that you can get. So I was super proud of her and yeah I'm just really really proud of her. And then for Wednesday, I was filming this plan with me. I just used one of my planning poppets. Um, I also wanted to do the voiceover and to edit, um, but as the day went on, I still wasn't feeling 100%, so I'm doing it today, which is Thursday. And then I just wrote down that Harrison and me are still poorly, and I used another one of my poorly poppets. I just put down my full box and I just laid on the sofa with my laptop and just designed some stickers and I have been playing around with some kit ideas because it's been such a long time since I released a new kit into the shop that I really wanted to just design a kit I was in the mood and then while I'm doing that I'm watching team mum I think I'm on season eight nine I can't remember how many seasons there are I'm on the last season anyway so um yeah I was just watching that while I was designing and then for Thursday I've wrote order pack. I have no idea what that means. I don't know what pack I'm supposed to be ordering. I mean, still to this day, I'm looking at it in my planner and thinking, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be ordering. Uh, I want to get some housework done. Obviously, I've been a bit poorly, so I haven't done much housework Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So I know I'm going to need to have a big catch up today. 
I'm actually recording this voiceover in the morning so I'm now about to do some housework after this and try and figure out what pack I'm supposed to be ordering and then under the full box me and my sister and my mum were supposed to be going out for lunch to celebrate my birthday but I did cancel it just because I don't want to pass on this virus to anyone else and everybody be ill over Christmas so I've cancelled it and we will reschedule for another day. For Friday it's my new release day and it's the new Happy Poppets, no they're not Happy Poppets, Happy Mail poppets. <laughs> I decided to create these because I can use them to mark down when I want to post some orders or when I've personally got some happy mail coming and obviously for you guys to mark any of your deliveries in your planner. And then before I go off to work I wanted to make sure I updated my Etsy listing so put it up into my shop. I wanted to do an Instagram post and just drop in and speak to my poppet squad. Then I've got work tomorrow as well and then to fill up that time I just used a full box. When I get home from work I want to send a message to my auntie Faye. She's not actually my auntie, we've always called her auntie and uncle but that is my nan's sister. So they're well into their 80s, late 80s but it's hilarious because she texts and it's just really funny to me that she texts like she's writing a letter. I love her so much. So I want to send her a message as my uncle George had a fall and he's been in hospital but he was coming home yesterday so I just want to send a message and see that everyone's okay. Moving on to the weekend, I just put the weekend banner down and then for my actual birthday on the Saturday I used the full box that says it's my day and I used one of the deco stickers of the little cupcake. So I wanted to take the children out on Saturday. We're going to be going up to somewhere called Felbrig Hall, I think, unless we change our minds, but I just wanted to get out into the wilderness because I've been cooped up with this virus and it feels like I've just literally just been sitting in my pajamas, you know, plodding along. So I want to get out, get some fresh air, knock the cobwebs away, as they say. And then for Sunday, I want to film next week's plan with me. So I just use a little flag to mark that. I'll also want to edit and do the voiceover as well, ready for Monday. So I just use my highlighters to create like a little squiggle so I can write that on. Then use the poppet that does not look very impressed as we will need to get the school stuff back together. It's such a long term from going back after the Halloween break and then breaking up for Christmas. It's the longest term that children do at school with no breaks, obviously apart from the weekend. So everyone's getting a little bit fed up now with the traveling and with getting ready for school. So that's why I decided to use that face right there. I use my pack lunch poppets to mark down that I need to sort out their lunch for the Monday. And then the other poppet that I'm putting down is from the poppet bag sheet because they have to get all of their bags ready and their pee kits. And then to finish off on Sunday, I just use my highlighter as I want to get some housework done. Flipping it over to the sidebar, I use the happy birthday full box at the top and then I've got some things that I want to track so I'll just put down my trackers and then split them up with a little piece of washi in between. I then created my next week section by just putting quarter box down and labelling it next week and then I took my highlighter pens and just made little squiggles to create like a checklist. There isn't that much going on next week, I've got a lot of birthdays happening in December, but it's my nan's birthday, my cousin's birthday, I have a new release, I'm going up to the city shopping and obviously I want to upload the plan with me. At the bottom here, just to fill up the gap, I use some of the deco stickers that come with the kit. And then I'm going to be using my advent calendar, my poppet advent calendar. I'm only going to um, do like the first one on camera just being, in case somebody hasn't either got theirs yet or haven't opened them yet and I don't want to ruin the surprise for everybody. So I just opened the first one, number one, and I will stick them all along the top off camera. The only pieces of deco I had left is a little present and another flag and you know I wasn't about to leave those on there, I had to use them. And then that was it for this plan with me, this is everything that I've got left over. You do get a lot of stickers with her kits which I love and here's just a very wobbly close up, I'm still a little bit shaky, um, I need to get back into the swing of doing my close ups. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me, I'm so sorry it's been such a long time and I can't wait to be back onto my normal schedule of every Monday. Have a good week guys, bye!